And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Rube Foster. Well, just a three-pitch mix in his arsenal, which, you know, it's not a lot for a starter. So always very important for him to have a good feel and command all three. Sometimes you can make that three look like four if you add or subtract a little bit of velocity on one. But you know, one thing about it, it can be easy to get too predictable out there on the mound. So hitters are aware of that. Mixing those three pitches in all counts is going to be a big key for him in this one. Corbin Carroll leading things off and takes a strike. Foster comes to the plate. And a foul ball. Foster winds and fires. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Here's Josh Rojas. And that's in there for strike one. Good eye right there. One ball, one strike. One down, base is empty. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. And now it's filled up. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Got him looking. That's out number two. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. That hits the dirt. One and oh. One ball, no strike. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. Foster with the 2 1. That one drifts inside. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The designated hitter. Brandon Drury to the plate. In there for strike one. Foul ball there. Goldie off of first with two away. Next one is off the plate. And that is ball one. Left field way back there. Henderson going back. Still going back. 
Up against the wall and brings it in. Nothing across on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. And now the Athletics offense gets its first shot here. No score. Back here at the ballpark. And on the hill in this one, Brandon Webb. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that... I'm going to be looking for in this one, does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over yeah, in the whatever. strike zone where he wants? No left now, it's tough to do to be able to command Marcus. all those pitches, but if he can, Marcus. he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just kept it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's Mark Canna. In there at the knees. That's strike one. Webb, a former all-star. He features a sinker, a curb, a changeup, a cutter, and he works in a four-seamer. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. Back to back base hits. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Digging in for Oakland, Jimmy Fox. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. The pitch. And strike two. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. First and second here, no outs. Got him swinging, it's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so in an 0-2 count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where... It's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. And now it's going to be Go Jason ball. Giambi. At the belt and fires. And that is cut on and missed. And the count is 0-2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Batting. Max Muncy at the dish. This guy with light tower power. He swings and fouls one off. Oh, one down. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Well, we can see him muscle up a little bit. He's trying to hit the ball a mile. Got to make sure that he stays within himself so that those mechanics can allow him to hit the ball a long way. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. And welcome back. And now the right fielder, Paven Smith. The right fielder, Paven Smith. Foster, back to work. On the ground. 
to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Wow, Singy Statcast tells us he fired an absolute bullet to first, and it needed to be a bullet. Yeah, 87 miles per hour on a line, Boog, and that's some heat from across the diamond. Really close play at first, but the ball just beat him to the bag. Alec Thomas now. First offering, misses the mark. No score here in the second. Line drive. Makes the catch for the out. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Geraldo Perdomo. And there's the strike. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Next offering is down low. 0 oh, 2 curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. The pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Henderson on the move. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. And that is that. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Here's Sean Murphy. The catcher, Sean Murphy. Hey. Well, Sean. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Now a one and a one. One and one. And now the count. One and two after the swing and the miss. You know, that's a swing you'll see a lot against a good sinker. Just right over the top. Tough to barrel that up. Foul ball still, a one and two count. The wide to kick the pitch. Got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much seven. bat speed. It's the hard to base bring base. that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And now Jordan Diaz and a foul ball. Pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitcher's umpire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, Boog. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. On the ground to the left. Perdomo on the first. And that quickly, two away. Good fade and sinking action in that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Matt. Now Chapman. it's Matt Chapman. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. He's got it. And that is out number three. So they go quietly there. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Now, Nick Ahmed. 
This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. That one finds the zone. Strike one. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Next offering is in for a strike. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. And misses inside. Up the middle, Chapman. Slings to first and one away in the top of the third. Batting up. The catcher. Cooper Hummel. Next to hit for Arizona, Cooper Hummel. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Hummel measures 5 feet 10 inches, hitting ninth in today's lineup, and they traded for him earlier this year. And that's in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. The 1-1. One -one. foul ball top of the third no score right through there got him down on strikes and he knew it Boog, I think even when you know he's got that pitch in his arsenal you're still going to have a hard time recognizing and reacting to it unless you've seen it several times I'm concerned because you probably can't hit anything else that he throws that one right there locked him up Carroll stands in here Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. The next pitch misses. One and one. Kicks and fires. There's the swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Got him. Out number three. Nothing doing for Arizona, and we are still scoreless. Ready to go for the last Ready half of the go. inning. Now it's the right fielder, number, number right 29. Fielder. Number 29. Webb back to work. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. You know, these A's, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. To the right side. He'll do it himself. Yeah. One up, one down. The left fielder, number 24, Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson, up next for the A's. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Here's the 0-2. 
Swing and a ball popped up. Ahmed sends it to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Mark Canna. Mark Canna getting ready to hit. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Canna in his eighth season. 34-year-old vet. A former first-round pick back in 2014. Swings and misses. 0-1. That's inside. The 1-1. One, one. Swings through that one. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Hayes go quickly and quietly there. Still no score. So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, Lefty Grove. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Josh Rojas stands in now for the Diamondbacks. His first at bat was a strikeout. And he deals. And that skips in the dirt. That's a little bit low. Rojas tries to check his swing. Now a look to third, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Late that time, and it's strike two. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle, but I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. The first base, Paul Goldschmidt. Ball one, no strikes. Grove, a former MVP, he features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a forkball, a changeup, and he works in a slider. And he pumps it a strike. The D-backs yet to pick up a hit here. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat Tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Drury in the box now. No balls and a strike. You see the velocity 97 with that fastball. Next offering is in for a strike. And here it comes. Misses outside. The count now two and two. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And that ball is out of here. He powers that one out to left. Just like that, they move in front. It's 
knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Haven Smith stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Grounded out his first time up. Popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. D-backs get one on the solo jack. It's now 1-0. This is A's Baseball on the show Bay Area. Welcome back, and they turn to a new arm as we kick off the bottom of the fourth. Zach Gallen. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important out. The pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Smith in position, and there's one down. Up next to Oakland. The designated hitter at the play, Jason Giambi, struck out swinging his first time. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. Oh, now this one's high and deep, way back there, on its way, gone! A towering shot to right, and we are starting over. It's 1-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he went up there 0-0 oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Here comes Max Muncy. First offering misses badly for ball one. Pitchers and catchers have a unique bond in general, but Gallen and Carson Kelly actually lived together for a while when they played at AAA. Technically, it was Kelly's apartment and Gallen slept on an air mattress. You gotta do what you gotta do coming through the minor leagues, but that can definitely help to strengthen that bond, be on the same page when you get into the ball game. Kicks and deals. And yeah, that's outside. Swing and a deep drive. This one's got a chance. Way back there. And boom goes the dynamite. That was a moonshot. And they grab the lead. It's 2-1. Back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So here's Murphy now. First pitch, not close. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball. Still only one out here in the inning. And that one missing low. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And that's a two-bagger. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Man at second with one away. Jordan Diaz up next for the A's. He's over one. 
That to right. Smith should have this one. Puts the squeeze on it. Rounder tags it second. Thought about third there, but throws on the brakes. Two away now. Up next to open. Not shortstop. Matt Chapman Matt. up to the plate now. Chapman. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. The 0-1. Oh. Murphy on its second with two down. In the air to left center. Thomas sizing it up. And makes the grab. And that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching A's baseball on the show Bay Area. And welcome back. Top leading five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Alex. Alec Thomas. Thomas. The wind and the pitch. Fouled off left side. Next one misses. And the count even one and one. And that's outside. That one in for a strike, two and two. Upstairs. That's a really good take. Geraldo Perdomo to bat next. Three and two now. He goes down looking. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Geraldo Perdomo. That one's in there, 0 1. Perdomo, one strike. And yeah, there's a ball. 1 1. Ball to strike, the pitch. There's a strike. And now it's even up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. Got him. And two away now. Well, he clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing, just went around too far, and you're hoping the umpire maybe missed it and they bail you out. And he grounds one back up the middle. Throw over to Fox, and that is that. Diamondbacks down quickly, and our score remains 2-1. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Patrick Corbin. Pretty tight game, so they're You're looking for quality please. pitches out of them now right here. Got to do his best to keep the score Number right where it seven. is. Patrick Corbin. Number 29 Leading now at the plate. The Grounded out his first the time. Right Number 29. And the pitch. 
going to want it. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Not a swing you want to watch again. Now one ball. missed. One ball. Two straight. Next Two pitch balls. misses Two way outside. Left hand hitter waits. And down on strikes. And there's one down. Here's a speed threat. Ricky Henderson, one for two. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Now here is Mark Canna. Pitch out, but no action. And a pitch. Come back to the mound. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, now, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle yeah. out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Here's some real power at the plate. Jimmy Fox. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. The 0-2. Out towards right center field. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Henderson rounds third, headed for the plate. In there safely. And they take a two-run lead. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. One down. Next up for the A's, Jason Giambi. He's already homered here in this one. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Second and third here, one away. That one ripped. Unbelievable! A home run! I don't believe what I just saw. I don't believe what I just saw.
Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul ball. Brandon Fack comes on now. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And now it's Max Muncy. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. And that one pulled foul. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat too much on that one. Sean Murphy up next Catcher. for the A's. Outfield Yaw. playing very deep, not Yaw. wanting Yaw. anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. And strike two. Oh, two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Going two now. Swing and a ball lifted left field. That one gets down for a hit. And that extends the inning. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win now the at bad after being no down in the count, game. up against Go it down. with two strikes right there. You'll yeah. take those bloop hits off the end of the bat all day long. It doesn't mean you put a great swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. And the batter now, Jordan Diaz. That one misses, and that's ball one. And a pitch. Swing and a deep drive. This one's got a chance. Way back there, and boom goes the dynamite. A two-run homer, and they boost their lead. It's 8-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Matt Chapman. Line drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. That's now three hits in now a row bad. for the offense. Number Everything 29. was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Number 29, up next for the A's. Rip to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. He circles the bases, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 10-1. was a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay Ryan Nelson on the pitch here he's into the game but the base is empty now pitching for Arizona number 19 Ryan Nelson 
So digging in, Ricky Henderson. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. That one the other way, and no one can get there. It falls in. And that keeps the inning going. Oh, this has been a really now nice game at the plate for him. Fielder. He looks locked Marvel. in. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Mark Canna, the next to hit. Out towards left center. Carroll moves towards it. Brings it in for the third out. But it's a huge eight-run inning for him as they open up the lead. Five innings complete. It's the A's 10 and the Diamondbacks 1. Welcome back. Top six. Leading off, the Leading off Cooper the Hummel. Catcher. Cooper Hummel. The wind of the pitch. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And now the lefty. Pitch misses there. Now one and two. Good job to fight that one off. The one two. Just misses with that one. Two two. Here's a 2 2. And now the count filled up 3 and 2. Out to short. Chapman whips it to first on the run. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Oh, nice job by the shortstop to field that on the backhand and gather himself, get his feet underneath him. He had a long throw. But he knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure the grip, and finish the throw. So the batting order turns over. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Corbin Carroll. First pitch, just misses. That one at the knees for a strike. The next offering misses and a count two and one. And that's outside. Three and one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, "Make sure to say hi to Kenny." Rojas up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Carroll leads off first with one away. That's in there. And one and one. And that's doubted away. That one fouled off. Two and two. The pitch. Right side. Oh, look at the stop. Throw to first. It's there, and that's a great play. Now batting, the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. He's 0 for 1. Check swing on the first pitch. Appeal down to first, and he held up. 
Man on second, two down. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. A little bit low. Runner at second, two down. Good eye in that spot. The 3 1 in for a strike, full count. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left. Heart of the order, 3 4 5 coming up. It's the A's 10, and the Diamondbacks 1. Back here at the ballpark, and a batter now, Jimmy Fox. The first baseman, Jimmy Fox. Here comes a pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's down. One hops off the wall. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Seems like he got it all middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. <laughs> so, man aboard, Jason Giambi. Up next for the A's. Hard ground ball base knock. Here comes Fox. Here's the throw to the plate. The run comes in from second. It's 11-1. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. One for three. Muncy hits one in the air. Thomas gets under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Now batting. The catcher. Sean Murphy. Man at first. And now here's the A's catcher, Sean Murphy. That one drilled left field. Carroll pulls it in for the out. Two down. And now the Jordan Diaz. 14, second baseman. Diaz, 22 years old. Diaz. He joined the team as a free agent. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Got it! Really had to move for that grab. And that ends the inning. A run on two hits, and they leave one. We're through six full. It's the A's 11, and the Diamondbacks one. Raleigh Fingers gets the call from the pen. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Dalton Varsho. Dalton Varsho. And he deals. Started after it. Appeal to third. Nope, he held back. And the 1-0. And a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. Close one. Doesn't get the call. Now two balls and a strike.
Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And Ricky Henderson the grab. One up, one down. Up next for the diamond out. The right field. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter. Stone Garrett. One out. The base is empty for him. Stone Garrett. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0 and 1. Riding to the plate. Oh. One and one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the slider just misses. Got him. And there's two away. The center field. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. David Peralta looking for a two-out spark, but the base is empty. David Peralta. In there, and it's 0-1. Two outs. Swing and a foul straight back. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. And the Diamondbacks down in order. They trail by double digits, 11 to 1. Staying in the game on defense, Stone Garrett. He'll be the new right fielder after entering as a pinch hitter. Also entering the game, David Peralta. He'll be patrolling center field. Peralta. So no, out of the pen please. for the Diamondbacks, now, Archie Bradley. I think it's got to be a little Number tough coming in out of the pen when Archie your guys are trailing Bradley. so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, well, obviously, regardless of the score. Not short stop. And here is Matt, Matt Chapman. Chapman. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner into center. The pitch. And that one is inside ball one. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Matt Peacock getting ready to go. Fly ball pretty well struck right field. That's back there. Go crazy, folks. Go crazy. It's a home run. So he blasts one out the other way, and they tack on to their lead. It's 12-1. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. So up next, number 29. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. That's in for a strike. Go ball, one strike. And the righty deals. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is 0-2. And Right-handed reliever. In the air, left side. Carroll moving under it. Brings it in. And there's one away. The left fielder, number 24. 
Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Ricky Henderson. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. That one fouled off. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Rojas throws on to first. Two down. Up next for Oakland, the center fielder, Mark Canna. Now the number two hitter, Mark Canna. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Snags it on the run. And that will end the inning. Oakland gets one on this homer as the A's are on top. Ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Geraldo Perdomo. The pitch. Just missed. Now wanted one. One ball, one strike. The one one. Oh. And another oh, ball. And that's oh, ball four. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's Maybe just mentally diamond. prepared, knowing the that if it's base. not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because Amen. you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two. What a second. Relay to first double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Pummel in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Kicks and fires. That's the ball. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Canna makes the catch, and that'll do it. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Joel Pyams. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, Joel man. And one of the better Pyams. ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. So digging in, Jimmy Fox. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big-time velo on the bump and big-time pop at the plate. And there's a foul ball. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. He's really good hitting the baseball now the other way, so credit the, the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a boom. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jason Giambi. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely Man. hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy.
Runner on at first with one gone. Now the third baseman, Max Muncy. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Giambi at first, one gone. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. That one a little bit high. It's a ball and two strikes. Struck him out swinging. Some high cheese for strike three. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Into left center for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Having himself a really nice game no at the plate. Nice line drive to the pull Second side right base, there, man. but he didn't spin no off of it. That's the key. You still yeah. have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. First and second, two down. Jordan Diaz up next for the A's. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. In the dirt. Over to Goldie. Third out. A strand a couple, but don't shed a tear. They're up 12-1. Tori Lavello making a move for a new bat. Jake McCarthy. For Arizona. Number 34, Jake McCarthy. The right hander back to work. Ball one there. One ball, no strike. And here it comes. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. That misses the zone, and a count two and one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. The two one. Fought off foul. Right hander kicks deals. And now it's filled up. Swings and misses. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's down and in. One ball, one strike. Next one off the plate inside, and that's ball two. Good eye right there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Good plate Great. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base oh, with a quick free please. pass. D-backs making a move for a pinch hitter. Ildemaro Vargas. Runner on first with one down for him. Vargas. 
in there for strike one. The pitch. Vargas checks his swing. Appeal down to third. No swing. He held up. Daryl Parker with the call there. Next pitch misses. And that's ball two. Two balls. One straight. Check swing. Now an appeal to third. And he went around according to Daryl Parker. And the pitch. And there's a ball. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Goes down looking. I guarantee he's going to check the tape on that last pitch when he gets a chance because he thought it was ball four, and he wasn't wrong. I mean, it was a close pitch. Definitely not an easy call, but especially after a long at bat, it'll drive you crazy getting rung up like that. So now a pinch hitter, Stuart Fairchild, a runner on first with two gone for him. This one high in the air to left center. And that'll do it. The A's take this one in a blowout. After a couple of times through the order, these guys really figured it out with the bats. A huge fifth inning, and that was all they really needed to get this victory today. Really nice job to pick up the W today. 12-1 is the final. Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. I'm a good